My name is Ji Yu, and I'm going to introduce you about Sajangjeon Hall. Here is a place called Sajangjeon, the King's Council Hall of the or the Office Hall, when the King manages routine state affairs. The meaning of Sajangjeon is the hall where the King should think deeply before dis making decisions. Here. The king had daily morning meetings with his officials and led discussions with them or seminars on the state affairs. Here you can see the Angbu Ilgu. This is a sundial, a clock telling the time using the sunlight and the shadows of the needles. A scientist, Chang Yongshi, invented it. Each vertical line tells 15 minutes, so if the shadow moved, by four lines, it meant one hour is passed. There are 13 lines on the Angbulgu, and this indicated 24 seasonal days. However, the time indicated by the sundial gives us a little bit different time from the standard time of Korea. It is because we are using the same time zone with Japan. The time on, the, on my cell phone is actually Japan's time. The real time of Korea is indicated by the sundial Angbulgu. Inside the building, it is similar to the structure of Gunjongjeon Hall, but there is a painting of a dragon in the clouds called Unyungdu. The dragon symbolizes the king, and the clouds symbolize the officials. It meant the king and officials have to help each other with good harmony and rule the country in peace. Do you know the Korean alphabet was invented in the Joseon dynasty by King Sejong? King Sejong held a morning meeting every day here at 5 a.m. and he never missed a single meeting. One day, a minister suggested Sejong attended, attended just every other day because he concerned about the king's health. However, Sejong, says, Sejong said, if you come here to say such a word, then just don't come. It's a famous episode showing King Sejong's strong leadership. There's a small desk over here. It was used by writers who made a record or what happened in the palace, including all the words and movements of the king, and very much in detail. However, the king was not allowed to read the record in his lifetime, because he could have erased all the bad things about him. Therefore, after the king, di after the king passed away, they compiled the records and they wrote every day and finally made books. The Annals of the Joseon Dynasty is a set of 888 books with 472 years of history. If we pile the books up, it will reach the height of a 12-story building. It is an amazing size. No surprise that is it is listed on the UNESCO Memory of the World. There is a funny story. One day, King Taejong was riding a horse, but he fell off from it. He said, don't record this in the book. However, the writer recorded everything, even including King Taejong's word not to record the story. So, you can read this from the Annals of the Joseon Dynasty. Now, uh, no, uh, thank you for listening to my introduction. Bye-bye.